Let me show you what's special about the Fresh Filter Commercial Vaporizer. First of all, most importantly, is going to be the plate that we use to um, melt the sulfur. And underneath this plate is a disc of heat emitting diodes. These are infrared diodes, which just like light diodes, are going to produce energy at a certain spectrum, very narrow, perfect for melting the sulfur in the cup that's going to sit on top of it. What's special about that is this is not a hot ceramic plate. It's only 32 watts. If this was plugged in with no cup on it at all, it's not going to be dangerous or anything. Um, the plate is 120 or 240 volts. The can itself is stainless steel. It has the ordinary greenhouse hanger on it. Uh, but another improvement we've done with the product is we've side mounted the cord. So you can see it has the air holes underneath it, little safety protector for the wires. And because of the holes and the hard mounted cord, the sulfur will sit on a flat surface, which is much safer and actually more fun because you can see the sulfur melting in the cup. Not that you necessarily want to stay around for that, but it's nicer than hanging it anywhere. Uh, we use a low wide aluminum cup. It's going to sit directly on the plate so there's no measuring there's no height control when this sits directly on the plate it's perfect because the diodes create an inductive heat that's going to come up through the bottom of the sulfur and melt it from the inside for that reason it is going to take a little longer to melt completely as usual uh, than usual about 25 minutes maybe uh, just to give you sort of uh, some education in how to use sulfur and why uh, we want to do this. Sulfur is an excellent um, natural element at preventing powdery mildew and flower molds and things like that in the garden. The way it works is just like heating water vapor, it's going to evaporate. That uh, vapor is going to float all around the spaces in the room, plants, tables, walls, everything you've got, and it's going to leave molecules, single molecules of pure elemental sulfur on all the surfaces. And there's not going to be a lot of them, but there's going to be enough of them there that when fungus tries to grow, for instance on the surface of a leaf, a spore will germinate, and from that spore will come a little tail, just like a root will come from a seed, that's called a hyphae, and when that hyphae touches a sulfur molecule, a naked sulfur molecule, it withers. And now imagine any of those spores trying to grow on any of the leaf surfaces in your room, as long as we've got just a little bit of sulfur on the surface of those leaves, it's touching it, they're withering. Fungus work because they grow. They have to grow to eat, they have to keep growing to eat more. Because they don't have mouths, they don't have arms. And if they're not growing, they're dying. If they're not growing and dying, you don't have a fungus problem. Sulfur is the coolest, cheapest, organic fungus protection that you can use in a garden. And in fact, really, with the cost of sulfur and the electricity, it costs about three cents per use. Sulfur is often sold in a one to four pound can, and truthfully, two pounds to one pound of sulfur can last a lifetime certainly two years at the most. A single use of sulfur in a vaporizer typically evaporates about 1.5 grams, gram and a half. And there's going to be a lot of gram and a halves in a one pound can. Let me give you some tips on how to use sulfur in a room. Uh, just like you would a pest fogger, put the vaporizer as close as you can to the center of the room. This particular cup size right here is ideal for a 10 by 10 foot greenhouse. Uh, you might want to put this on a stool so that it's close to center. We'll turn off any exhaust fans, certainly carbon fan filters because sulfur sticks to carbon. Uh, you may or may not want to cover them with a trash bag or anything. Because of the pre-filter and the fact there's no air moving through it, I don't really worry about it. So you've got a pre-filter on your carbon, that should be good enough. If you have any circulation fans, which you typically should, uh, you would turn those down to a minimum. We want just enough of a uh, uh, current of air that you know the air will be moving underneath the plants and the tables and the benches and be able to circulate in the room, but at a minimum. 
because it, just like water vapor, it'll make its way around. You want to, uh, the first time you're using it, is fill your cup to about halfway with uh, a pellet or a flake sulfur. It should be bright yellow. Use uh, a sulfur that's at least or very close to 99% pure. Uh, that is going to be you know, made for this type of device. Sit the cup right on the plate, plug it in. Nice to use a timer for this because we're gonna want to run it for about four, maybe five hours for that 10 by 10 foot greenhouse. And unless you wanna come back and do it yourself, where you can, always use your robots. And a timer is an ideal robot. So with a timer plugged in, set it four hours, click, it's on, you walk away. That four hours incidentally includes the 20 or so minutes it's gonna take for that sulfur to melt. Um, when sulfur's melted, it looks like melted wax, but it's not, and it's also very hot. Um, sulfur will melt at about 145 degrees Celsius, um, and I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but you might calculate it real fast and post it on this YouTube video. Um, let it turn off by itself, and when it cools, it'll be a block of yellow sulfur again, which you will use again. The nice thing about sulfur is we're going to continue to use the sulfur in this cup until really it's run almost to the bottom. Top it off, you know, pretty regular. But because we have the inductive uh, heat diode plate for the sulfur, is even when this thing runs all the way down to the bottom, you don't have the risk that it's going to, you know, spontaneously catch fire or anything like that. Sulfur fire is not big, it's very small, it's very blue, you barely know it's there, but we don't want it at all. Um, super easy to use, organic. Your investment is in your vaporizer, a good quality sulfur, and using it on a regular basis every five to seven days.